Hi, I'm Mallory and I was diagnosed with acromegaly in 2020. It was at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic and everything was closed down. So that added a new layer to my experience with the healthcare system. But at the same time, it was a huge relief from all these symptoms that I had been experiencing for four to five years at that point. And so it was very bittersweet. Some of the first symptoms that I noticed were uh, weight gain, um, abnormal periods, fatigue, extreme fatigue, and uh, just, I felt like hormonally off and I would always say that to people, oh, I feel so hormonal. And, and um, doctors would just say, you know, well, you're an 18 year old girl that just moved to college. Like I was very brushed off for four to five years until I found a doctor who really advocated for me and looked into my case and um, finally got the diagnosis. I feel really lucky to have acromegaly and not have symptoms, so I'm biochemically in control and I'm in remission at this time. So right now, I'm only a year and a half out of surgery and in remission, and I think I'm still just feeling really good. I think just reflecting on how bad I did feel for so long makes me appreciate like every day a little bit more because I feel so good and I feel myself now. It, I think being told that I didn't look like I have had acromegaly was a little bit invalidating and like I feel so strongly about these features that I don't like about myself and more so than that just like how I feel and for someone to like tell you that you don't oh you don't look like you have it like it must not be a problem it's like oh actually I've been suffering for five years um, so definitely a little bit invalidating I would just encourage them to advocate for themselves no matter like what a blood test says or an MRI says if something feels off I think you should bring that up with your doctor and and even if they don't validate that for you I, seek a second opinion. Um, I told people for years that I felt off and, and I felt sick and I felt fatigued and even though they're such generalized symptoms, I'd say just keep ag advocating for yourself. Yeah, for anyone going through surgery right now or facing a new diagnosis or a, an old diagnosis, I I would say that it gets better and that um, you're going to feel so much better afterwards. Be thankful, you know, that you've got this diagnosis because I think many people don't.